Hi, I'm Rob Pieper with Responsive Advisors. I'm here today to talk about the difference between Gantt charts and burndown charts and why combining the two may or may not uh, be the best thing for you. So first of all, what are these two charts? On the left here, we have a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is a way to measure progress towards a stated set of deliverables. They're very common in traditional project management. Usually what's done to build this chart is estimates are gathered to complete the different activities each activity is done in order, and when all the activities are done in their linear sequence, at the end, we have a finished output. If we were going to be building a house, the first step might be laying the foundation and drilling or uh, digging out a basement. Next step would be putting in the plumbing and the, the uh, framing of the house. The next step would be electrical, so on and so forth, until we were move-in ready and you could hand the keys to the homeowner. Now over here, we have a burndown chart. The way burndown charts work is over a certain amount of sprints, we have a certain amount of work that we would like to have finished. Typically, that amount of work is measured in units of story points, but it's not completely uncommon to use hours, something to that effect. The difference is, sprint over sprint, you're going to complete a certain amount of work that is going to be at a potentially shippable state. So in real life, if after sprint one we completed this much work here, and after sprint two, we completed about that much work. In sprint three, we finished out to here, sprint four. Um, all of this work you see here is finished. It's ready to go. It's shippable. You can use it. Whether or not you ship it is up to you, but the point is you could use it. In a traditional waterfall project being managed by a Gantt chart, when you get to the same point, all you have is a whole bunch of unfinished work and a lot of documentation. You don't really start getting into finishing the work until you're in the development, the testing, and the, uh, the deployment phases of a traditional project. So fundamentally, these are incompatible formats. One is measuring work based on actual finished completed things. The other is measuring based on percentage complete of certain activities. Now, there is one way where you can make the two work together. And that would be, if you considered each one of these sprints a miniature project in and of itself, so this little tiny two-week chunk of work, if you expanded it out, could look something like a mini project. And in a, in a mini project, you might have a linear, step, a linear set of steps that could map out much like a Gantt chart. So within just a two-week period of time, you'd have a mini project with a mini Gantt chart and this would only be two weeks worth of work. And you'd have multiple mini Gantt charts going all the way down until you get to the end of your release. Other than that, these are completely un incompatible formats and any attempts to try to merge the two will just uh, end up leaving you pulling your hair. Thank you very much. My name is Rob Pieper with Responsive Advisors.